Now I give the floor to the distinguished representative of the Republic of Moldova. Mr. President, at the outset, my delegation welcomes the resumption of the 11th Emergency Special Session of the General Assembly to consider the critical issue of so-called referendums held illegally by the Russian Federation in the temporary occupied territories of Ukraine in the regions of Kherson, Zaporozhye, Donetsk, and Luhansk. While the Republic of Moldova aligns itself with the EU statement, I would like to add the following remarks in our national capacity. Distinguished delegates, for more than eight months now, our neighboring country, Ukraine, is defending its territory from the Russian Federation unprovoked war of aggression, which has triggered the largest humanitarian and refugee crisis in Europe since the end of the Second World War, prompted global food shortages, economic downturn, and deepened the European energy crisis. The reports of massive human rights violation and disrespect for international humanitarian as well as international law are stated. The we have all been appalled by the massive Russian missile attacks conducted recently against Ukraine, Ukrainian cities, especially civilian and critical infrastructure. These attacks are causing human losses and suffering in and significant destruction. According to the verified airspace monitoring data, three of cruise uh, missiles launched from the Russian military ships located in the Black Sea or on targets in Ukraine have crossed Moldovan airspace. The Republic of Moldova firmly condemns the violation of its sovereign airspace. This incident created serious risks to the security of the Republic of Moldova. Any escalation is also increasing the security risks for the entire region and to the Republic of Moldova as an immediate neighbor of Ukraine. Now, these risks, these risks include not only those posed by the use of conventional arms, but also of nuclear ones. We express deep uh, and great concern about the military activities in and around the Ukraine's nuclear sites and the dangerous rhetoric about the possible uh, use of nuclear weapons. All these worrying developments pose a major threat not only to the, for the region but also for the entire world. In this sense, we cannot emphasize enough the importance of stopping the shelling in and around those sites with a view to avoiding catastrophic consequences. The Republic of Moldova strongly condemns the so-called referendums illegally organized by the Russian Federation in the territory occupied Ukrainian regions of Kherson, Zaporozhye, Donetsk, and Lugansk. Conducting these pseudo-referendums during the ongoing war and using them as a pretext to annex a part of Ukrainian sovereign territory occupied by force is a severe infringement of the principles of sovereignty and territorial integrity of and other fundamentals of the international law. The Republic of Moldova does not and will not recognize the results of these illegal actions and reiterates its steadfast support for independence, sovereignty, and territorial integrity of Ukraine within its internationally recognized borders. In the light of the above, my delegation co-authored the and will vote in favor of the resolution and